Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Um, Lawrence Acoli, um fought tooth and claw to get away from Matchroom and move over to uh, DAZN and sign with uh, Boxer, Ben Shalom's Boxer. Um, and it seemed that uh, there was probably going to be some legal issue there, but eventually he left. Um, God knows what Boxer and Shalom paid him using Sky's money. But he was certainly at the time hailed 18. He was going to be the face of British boxing, certainly the face of Sky Sports Boxing. Um, and as we know, the whole thing just collapsed. Uh, he made a very dull um, decision defence against David Light. Uh, that was a unanimous 12-round decision. Very, very boring. Light suffered a very bad injury and had to retire, brain injury. He was undefeated at the time. Um, and then Akoli promptly lost his WBO world title to Chris Billum Smith on a majority decision. An incredibly ugly fight in which um, Akoli was on the floor, I think, three times. You could argue that one of those was a slip um, and he had points taken off for holding. I mean, Akoli is a notoriously ugly fighter to watch. Terrible tactics, grabbing and holding, scared to get hit. He's been on the floor against Billum Smith a few times, so maybe we know why now. But at 31, um, he seems to have, having been British Commonwealth and European champ and WBO champ at cruiserweight, uh, all under um, the matchroom banner, since moving to boxer, it's been just nothing short of a disaster for a Coley. It, it was meant to have a... There was a rematch clause anyway. He was meant to have a rematch with Chris Billum Smith. Didn't pan out. I don't think Sky wanted it. The first fight was just too awful to have a rematch. So what has Akoli done? Well, he's moved to Bridgerweight. Not heavyweight, but Bridgerweight. And it's been announced that he is going to take on the WBC Bridgerweight champion, who is a Polish fella, Lukas Rosanski. Now, Rosanski is 38 years old. And he won his title, uh, I think it was a vacant title. He knocked out Alan Babich in one round. Babich at the time was undefeated. Um, and Rosansky just, you know, clipped him early. Babich has never had a great chin. Um, I think there was a knockdown, one knockdown, and then he got stopped on his feet, Babich. So Rosansky is now walking around with his WBC Bridgerweight belt. At the time, I think the WBC were the only were the only ruling body to recognise this Bridgerweight division. But I think the WBA have jumped on board as well. I mean, where there's a sanctioning fee, you'll find a sanctioning body. Let's put it that way. Um, but this this fight, um, 38-year-old Rosansky, 31-year-old Akoli, is going to take place on Friday, May the 24th in Poland. Uh, it's going to be live on Sky Sports. Um, and... I mean, would anyone consider... Does anyone, first of all, does anyone consider Rosansky to be a world champion, real world champion? In this day and age, you just never know with all these belts flying around, all these different divisions. Um, could a Coley call himself a two-weight world champ? I don't know. I mean, Rosansky says... Um, well, first of all, a Coley says he's excited to go to Poland, uh, test himself on away ground. He said Rosansky's a good champ, um, but he's come and do some damage. Um, and he's never seen power like mine, says Akoli. Well, I hope Rosansky likes being cuddled because he'll probably end up being cuddled by Akoli for quite a bit of that 12 rounds. Rosansky said he's defending his world title in his own backyard, in, in his city. He's fighting against a former world champ. It's a fantastic fight. For moments like these, I've trained hard all my life. Okay. Now, interestingly, Ben Shalom of Boxer, um, he said, we're excited to be returning to Poland and working once again with our friends at Knockout Promotions for what promises to be another spectacular night of boxing. I was ringside to watch Rosansky beat Babich inside a round to claim the WBC Bridgerweight title. So I know Lawrence will need to be at his best to bring the belt back to the UK. I believe at this heavier weight, we'll see the best and most destructive version of Lawrence Acoli. Now, the weight side of things, OK, that may be a valid point because Acoli was a huge cruiserweight um and it, it's possible his punch resistance and physical strength and speed and all the rest of it, his stamina will increase at a higher weight i think he's way too small to take on heavyweights i don't think he has the punch resistance um but an extra bit of weight might be what he needs to you know give himself a a bit more 
pep in his step. Um, I'm not going to do a prediction at the moment. I mean, Rosansky is undefeated in, in I think, 15 fights. Um, and, I mean, he's also, he, apart from the Babich fight, which was a one-rounder, that was his, his only fight last year. His fight before that, you have to go back to 2021, and he, he did Arthur Spilker in a round. So, 2020, um, I think he had he had at least two fights. Um, I think it was two fights. But if you go back to 2020, so that's back in the 2020, I think is is September-ish, October 2020. So that's that now, 2020, 21, 22, 23. I mean, you're talking three and a half years. The guy's had two fights that have ended in one round, Spilker and Babich. And at 38, you've got to wonder. You've got to wonder about the, the gas tank, the stamina, you know. I mean, he's a six foot one inch guy, so he's not that tall for the weight. Um, so yeah, you would you might think that Akoli has got a good chance, but you just never know with Akoli. There were times when he was being trained by Shane McGuigan where he was just beginning to look the part, beginning to look pretty good. Um, you know, beat Krzysztof Kloacki in six round, another Polish fella. Um, beat Dylan Prasovich in was it three rounds. Three rounds, maybe. Um, but he, he, prior to that, you know, he was stinking the joint out against Isaac Chamberlain and what was the other one he had? Matty Askin, wasn't it? That was a terrible fight. So he's, but he was at least, he at least seemed to be fulfilling his, his ambition. But look, British, Commonwealth and European and WBO Cruiserweight titles, all those titles won under the auspices of Matchroom and Eddie Hearn. Since moving to boxer, what a disaster it's been. What a disaster. Okay, if he if he picks up this Bridgeweight title, he's 31. He can still... I mean, who's he going to defend it against? Does anyone really want to fight for the Bridgeweight title? What names is he going to rack up? This guy was supposed to be the face of British boxing. No, I don't, I don't get it. I think... Oh God knows what Shalom spent on getting a Coley to move over to Sky, but I bet Sky ain't happy with that. That's bad money. And Joshua Boazzi, I mean, he's had a slight resurrection with the Dan Aziz fight, but he hasn't exactly torn up any trees yet either. Um, but Billum Smith and React Poor at Cruiser, that's on Sky. That'd be a good fight. Yeah, I think, you know, they, they fought before. That might sell. But a Coley seems to be the guy, you know, where are we going to put him? Oh, I know. We'll go for Bridge Away. No. Well, anyway, um, do you care about this fight? Tell me what you think about Akoli. What, what do you think his next move should be? I mean, he, well, we know what his next next move is. It's going to be Rosansky, but is it worth it? Is it worth picking up the Bridge Away title? Who would he fight? Maybe they'll dig up Babbage again. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Um, yeah, give me your opinions on this rather strange subject um, and leave your comments below and of course if you are new to this channel and you want to subscribe please hit the subscribe button and if you like this video hit the like button and I will read your comments I'll answer as many as I can I always read your comments I don't get a chance to answer everyone because there's just too many of them but yeah if you've got something to say please leave it below all right then thank you very much for your time as always I'll catch you later and bye for now